Hi, this is the Elm Test Stove, the 36 inch wildfire, and today is a hot July 5th, 2011. Uh, there's a man who's been asking me to make a uh, more permanent connection for the outside air, the makeup air for this stove. And recently I rebuilt a stove for a customer. I took a catalytic elm and turned it into a secondary air elm. And he also wanted to see a more uh, rigid connection between the outside air and the stove. And it it seems in his mind, and, and I guess I agree, that it doesn't have to supply 100% of the air to the stove. And, and I'll explain this as we walk to the back of the stove. Uh, this is some three-quarter inch black iron pipe. As you can see, it uh, begins with this four inch aluminum. Uh, this is supplying the air from outdoors. There's a ball valve which turns the air supply on and off. This is the off position, on position. Now, basically, the air is going to come up, go along this three foot section of pipe up and into the back of the stove and we'll take a look inside this is preheating preheating the air through a series of pipes and elbows and 45 degrees and things like that uh, it ends up <clears throat> right there at the inside of the air wash and the idea is when you want to get the fire started with new logs or if you're starting from a cold situation you open the draft like this and give it all the uh, unlimited air basically until it's going the way you'd like it to go and then when you go to the low burn situation you simply close this and with this ball valve open there should be oxygen coming out of this piece right here supplying air to the front of the stove just the way the elm likes just the way the logs like and allowing it to burn in a low burn mode with the uh, the air coming in from outdoors instead of from the, the room itself now the question was do we also add controls for the secondary air and the customer and I agreed uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. There are two two elbows right in the middle uh, that supply the air to the box beam. We left those unrestricted. Basically those are going to grab air from the room which since this is open, the four inch aluminum is open, air from there will go directly to the the, the draft at the base of the door as well as uh, around the back of the stove for the secondary. So I haven't tried it yet. I just uh, assembled all these parts in the last hour and it should work. Uh, the one I did for the other customer was slightly different in that the pipe came in right at the center of the base of the back and uh, was positioned between rows of fire bricks right down to the front basically to about the same position with a short piece coming up and uh, he I don't believe he's tried that yet either <clears throat> being so warm now but I wanted to make sure that at least a couple of you out there who've been thinking of something like this could be reassured that the boss is working on it and uh, it's ready to go it's ready to be tested so the next video hopefully We'll test that theory. Thank you for watching.